In this video, I am going to introduce you to cloud models on Olama. Now we have been using Olama on our local systems, on GPUs, across different websites, but it's really expensive to invest so much on getting a higher end system to run some higher end models. For example, if you want to run this model, which is a 671 billion DeepSeek version 3.1, or if you want to run this GPT OSS 120 billion parameter cloud, my mere 8 GB GPU is not going to be enough. One solution that I use is to go to RunPods, which is a cloud GPU service. You can go to this link and try it on RunPods. You can get some free credits as well. When you spend your first ten dollars on one pot, you get five to five hundred dollars of credit. You can go through the link and uh, try out run pods. Bearing that run pods, now we have a different solution. You can see that Olama has introduced cloud models. Now this can let you run larger models with fast and data center grade hardware. You can keep your local tools while running larger models that wouldn't fit on your personal computer. Now the process is exactly the same, but we need uh, the latest version, Olama version 0.12. So if you go to the download page, olama.com slash download, depending on your operating system, you can go ahead and uh, install it. Now, once we install it, uh, we do have Olama here. If I start up the Olama app, this will show up where you can go ahead and ask questions. Before we go here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a command prompt and then I'm just going to type Olama. So my Olama is installed here. Now, let's look at the commands that we have here. So you can see that we have start Olama, which is the serve command. So you're going to see this command, uh, Olama serve. You can run this. Now it's already on. Therefore, you're getting this message. You can create a model using the create command. You can show information of a model. You can run a model, stop a model, pull a model from the registry. If you want to download a new model, you can push a model to the registry. If you have a login on olama.com, then you can push for this cloud usage of the models. We need to have sign in. We can sign out. We can list the different models that I have. We can see the list of running models. We can copy a model, remove a model and any help about anything. So let's go ahead and see the list of models that I have. So I can say Olama list and then you can see that I have these models installed on my local system. And you can also see that I have two models called cloud at the end. So these models are not per se installed on my system, but it's installed on the cloud, on the Olama servers. I can use this model on my local system, right? Let's go ahead and check out one example. So for example, we want to run this. Let's say we want to run the Quen 3 quarter 480 billion cloud. Now we can go here and I can just go clear this out. So I can say that Olama uh, pull and this model, this is the model, Quen 3 quarter 480 billion cloud and I press enter. And you can see that it's pulling the manifest. Of course, it's not pulling on my own system. It's pulling on the instance that probably has been created on uh, Olama Cloud. Okay, so that's a success. Now, what I can do is I can do Olama run this one. So run Quen. So it's connected to Quen 3 quarter 40 billion on Olama.com. And you can send a message. What is the capital of India? So you can see it's pretty fast. It's not running on my local system. I'm just inferencing here, but the exact thing that is happening behind the scene is on the cloud, olama.com. Let's go ahead now and see the other models that I can do. So this is one model and this is another model. This model I have already downloaded. So I can go ahead and run this model, GPT OSS 120 billion. I have installed this model as well. Control D to get out of this. I can say Olama run and paste this model 20 billion cloud. And the other model is DeepSeek V3 671 billion. So Olama run and the name of the model. And you can see it's downloading and it's connected to DeepSeek version 3.1. Why is this so useful? First of all, it's running on the cloud and you are given access to search a larger models. Of course, that not yet talked about the price point uh, what would be the cost of such a model but right now you can try it out and i think there should be they should come up with a suitable price 
for us to test this out and to use it on our projects now everything remains the same every command that we have seen uh, when we run uh, olama on a local system would work for example uh, olama as you can see uh, list the models so this is a list of the models or i can say olama can run any of the models here now since the last two previous to previous update uh, we had this if you go to olama then you get this beautiful interface uh, to go ahead and chat now if i select this model gpt oss 120b and i ask it to write a long story on a tiger eating veggies and i can see that it's pretty fast because it's not running on my system it's running on the cloud and you can see 120 billion model i could not imagine running on my own system no setups it's pretty fast if we use a gpu service it does take a lot of time to get it set up but here it's so easy to do it all the projects that you've been using uh, with olama remains the same but you can just replace the model with this new models if you're working with javascript you can just npm install olama and pull the model and use this on your system if you're using python so pip install olama and uh, then olama pull the model here and then we use this on olama okay so import olama the response is olama.chat the model is this the messages is role user content is why it's a sky blue now you can use c url as well you just pull the model and you can use it now i'm going to show you one example of this let's go to postman and test this out now we need to make sure that uh, olama is running so for that what you can do is you can go ahead uh, to this local host and then you can say local host and then you can say 11434 so olama is running now since olama is running i can go ahead and try this on c url so i am on postman i select on post here and then i go to this i copy this http endpoint and then i have this data of this entire thing so i go to body go to raw and then I paste this entire thing. Instead of saying why is the sky blue, I can say what is the capital of Japan? My favorite question. And then I can just send this. We should get an answer here. Pretty cool. So 200, okay, request successful. And I can see that this is the model. Uh, this is the remote model, a remote host, okay. Created at, okay. And then we have this role is assistant. Content is the capital of Japan is Tokyo which is the answer to this question and we have the thinking mode as well so we have this thinking thing as well we need to answer capital of japan is tokyo uh provide a succinct answer and then we have this so that's pretty cool easily integrate with your ongoing projects now we need to sign in and sign out as well now i'm going to show you that uh i already am signed in i can say olama sign sign in i can see that i'm already signed in as prompt if you say olama sign out then you will be signed out of olama.com okay you once again want to sign in and then you want to navigate to this link and just paste it here and then you can see that connect device or connect omen this is the name of, of my device i would prompt this device will be paired with your account and you can just click on connect the device has been successfully connected you may close this window okay so once you go back now if we do olama sign in we can see that you're already signed in as user prompt now one more thing that i like to show you is uh, you can use you will be able to use olama.com apis when uh, the payment plan and every detail is given to us so you can decide and use uh, api to get the services in a better way now apart from this what i would like to show is i can go to olama.com and sign in with your account here so once you go to your accounts here you can go uh, to my models and you can see that you can actually upload your models here so this is your account and somewhere your account details will be available here when uh, the when the api cost and everything is put forward by olama but this is just an update that cloud models are available now and it's really amazing that you can use this big models so easily now if you want to understand how such a process is made i will come up with a video on beam cloud it's beam cloud 
that I'm doing or interesting example that I'm going to show you. This is actually running AI workloads on serverless GPUs and you can basically spin up different GPUs and you can call them whenever you need it. When you compare with this Olama cloud service, it's not always on. Whenever you request it, it's actually activated some sort of Docker and Kubernetes. In the next video, uh, probably I will show you about beam.cloud. This is an interesting service. I made some projects here. It's really amazing. No cost when you don't use it. There is some cost when you start using it. When you have your customers, the customers paid off. That's really amazing project. Please watch out this next video. Go to RunPods using my link and try out RunPods. But again, what I would like to say is it's awesome. Olama Cloud. You can use Olama Cloud on your local system now. Run these models. Enjoy. Amazing. I'll see you in the other one.